Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today is hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness, and we'll throw our drawing at the end of the video. But first, let's have our shout out to Rosalind, Vicki, Sherry, Liberty Loss, Julie, Paula, Lenny, Boku, and just Jenny. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm going to set this aside and let's begin. So I was dying lots of papers and I was dying some of my guest checks and it just dawned on me, oh my goodness, let's make a corner topper. So you don't have, if you don't have any guest checks, you don't have to use guest checks. You could use, go ahead and use some printed paper of some sort. Do make sure it's a heavier stock. Maybe this is a card stock, so something like that. So on the guest checks, you know, they don't come very thick. They're a thicker paper, but they're not super thick. So what I did was I backed mine with some copy paper and I cut myself a rectangle. So this rectangle happens to be the size of the guest check, which is about three and a half by almost seven. Now, in one of my examples, I did not use a guest check and I just used two pieces of cardstock. Actually, they were the same on front and back. And what I did there was I just made whatever size that I wanted. I didn't follow anything like this, but since I was, I got my idea when I was doing my guest checks, this is what I thought I would do as an example. So what I have done already is I took my guest check and I took my paper that I was going to back it with, and I needed to decide, do I want my tuck to go on my page this way? Or do I want my tuck to go on my page this way? That would determine whether you're going to put your glue on the top and on the right side or the top and your left side. So that's something that you would need to decide to do. So I have actually already done that with this one and I put my glue on the top and on my right side. So it opens up like this. Next I want to go ahead and I want to take my corner rounder and I want to just round the corners just a little bit here. So I'm just rounding the corners and then I am going to go ahead and take my ink and I'm just going to ink up just a little bit around the edges just like this and right here. Now this back page is actually a William and Morris paper and I just thought it went nicely with some of the decorations that I have to go on here. So I have a chapter one tag. I have some washi. I have a digitalcollage.com little tag there. I have some, you know, I'm not really sure where these came from. I don't have a clue. But I've got some little roses, I've got a label from Tracy Fox, and I've got a little bit of bling. And I thought for this one, maybe we could do something like placing our little tag. Actually, it had a top on it, and I cut it off. So now I am just have this little rectangle. And I thought I could make a belly band out of this. And I thought that I could place my roses at the top and maybe my roses at the bottom like that and make my belly band. So let's go ahead and do that. So first what I want to do is I want to just put a little bit of glue on the top of my tag here and I'm just going to place it right here onto my guest check and then I'm going to take, uh, let's see, yeah, I think I'll use both the same. I'll take one of these. They're exactly the same. And I'm going to put one on the top and one on the bottom. So just like this, just for a little decoration. I just thought they were sweet and they went together color-wise. And then right down here at the bottom. So just like that. And then, let's see, let's add a little washi onto the top. So this is another very simple project. You know, you guys, I don't do anything that's really, you know, involved. It's just 
not what I do. I'm looking for my scissors here. So as I decorate this, I'm going to tell you what is hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness. It's you helping me spread happiness through simple acts of kindness towards other people. Letting someone in line uh, if, of traffic. Letting someone in line at the grocery store because you have 20 items and they have two. Simple opening of doors for someone. Just a simple act of kindness. It doesn't have to cost you any money, but these simple acts of kindness can help people in so many different ways. So if you choose not to want to tell me your act of kindness because you list them in the comments section of the most recent Kathy Sewing Happiness video in the comments section, if you don't want to tell me your act of kindness, just type in spreading happiness, those two words, and that can be your entry as well. So every Sunday we have a drawing. That's how you get into the fishbowl. That's where the name comes out of is in the fishbowl every Sunday. So if you enter in this week, do please check back next week because if your name is pulled out, I'm going to need your address. And down below it will tell you how you enter and how you get your address to me. So let's continue. So I have just placed my little tag right in there. Isn't that adorable? Now I thought maybe I would add a little bit of bling. You know how I think that just, ooh, that's so pretty up there. So I think I'd like to place it, I'm going to place my glue right here on my bling. And I'm using hot glue because it's quick, it's fast, it's easy, and it just grabs a hold. And I can go ahead and turn this over and not have to worry about it falling off. Isn't that just gorgeous? Now let's turn it on this side. No, on this side, let's put a little flip. Now, in my examples, I actually sewed this on the machine. But if you don't have a machine, you don't have to worry about that. All you'll need to do is take a little bit of glue and you'll need to add a little bit of glue, maybe right there on the fold, right on the folded area. Let's add just a little bit of glue. And let's place it right up inside and that's going to grab a hold and glue nicely and then i think i will actually switch to my hot glue i'm going to glue it on just about right here so let's go ahead and add our hot glue any glue of your choice will be perfect or maybe if you want to sew it that's going to be perfect too so let's get that on there and just wipe that excess glue right on off. Let's go ahead and carry out our theme by adding our little bit of washi right here because we have the same washi on the front. Let's go ahead and put it here on the back side or maybe this side's going to be your front. Whichever way you put your glue, whichever corner you chose to put your glue, that's how it's going to be open to you for your page. So let's go ahead and let's decorate this just a little bit. I don't know if I want all this decorated on here, but I do think this is really sweet. I like how that looks. So I'm going to grab my glue. Actually, I'm going to add my glue right here. I kind of spurt it out, didn't it, guys? I'm going to add my glue right here just to get my position covering up that letter because there's no way I'm going to be able to get that to show and just have a number sticking out which will be just perfect and I'm just going to pop it and I think I'll pop it right here I want that leaf to be on there but I don't want it to be crooked so let's see am I crooked not so bad now how about a little bit of bling on here too just to finish it off um, goodness gracious maybe up and down maybe something different like that so let's do this one up and down and let's just pop it right here. Oh my goodness, I think that looks wonderful. So let's bring in our imaginary page, okay? And so this would fit onto my page in this direction right here. Oh, I know what I forgot, you guys. I forgot my tab. So I have some papers here that I can choose which one do I think is going to go with this. I love this blue. I think I want this blue and I think I want it 
think I want them to go up and down like this because just in case I don't get it straight, the lines won't bother me. So I'm going to do that. I know that foil will help, but foil has not helped get this to start releasing. It just gets stuck. I don't know. It's a new thing that it's just started to do. So I've got my two little tabs, and yes, I know some people t uh, punch them out together. I like to punch mine out separately. It's just we all like to do the way we like to do things. So I'm just going to ink this up just a tiny bit. I'm going to actually remove my page, and I'm going to decide, hmm, I think I want it, I think I want it lower down. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue right there, and I'm going to place it right here. And then I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to add my glue, and I'm going to place it right here. Absolutely perfect. And what that will do is once you put that on there, then it will actually add as a little addition to when it will stick out of your journal, it will actually be a tab. So there we go. It's right on the corner. Isn't that adorable? And then you turn it on to this side and you actually have a flip book and then you can always remove it. You can journal more on here. So here's another example that I made. This is a guest check that I dyed in blue. Isn't this pretty? I put a little pocket in this one. So there's lots of different things that you can do. This one has the belly band, and this one has a pocket. And then on this side, they both have the flip book. Isn't that sweet? And then here's the one that I made with just regular um, paper. I don't know if this came out of a paper book or it's a printable. I'm sorry, I just don't remember. But I made a corner tuck. So instead of a straight, so here's a straight, uh, here's a straight tuck. Here's the belly band and here's the side tuck. They're both uh, absolutely adorable. Turn them on the side and I have not added any bling to this one. I need to, but this is how this all turns out. Absolutely adorable, don't you think? And they fit on to your page so nicely like this one goes on this way look how pretty that is i absolutely love these it slips off so easily let's go ahead and have our drawing for our happy mail so who is the winner of happy mail this week let's find out right here here's the winner the winner of happy mail this week is Colleen Bull, Bully, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say it, B-U-I-L-E-S, Bull, I'm not even going to try it, guys, I'm just terrible at that, but Colleen, <laughs> Colleen, you have won happy mail this week from me to you, that's my way of paying it forward, you guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video, I'll see you there, guys, bye now.